This is part two of my tutorial on uh, how to get developing for Newton OS on the MacBook or on the Mac. So the second part is we need to install something called Basilisk. Basilisk is an emulator for the classic uh, Apple, like a Performa, for example. And it's a system like we used to have them in 1993. And uh, it runs uh, NTK. NTK is, stands for Newton Toolkit. And the Newton Toolkit is um, the program that it's an integrated developer environment that allows um, to develop Newton apps. So let's go to my cheat sheet again. I moved it since the last time, but I'm sure you'll find it. So installing Basilisk on the new and the Newton toolkit on Mac OS. Um, we got a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff, come on, it's all in 90s uh, sizes. So Basilisk we need to download in a special version. Um, just click on it and there it goes. We need to download the macOS 7.55 boot disk. Um, we need to download the Newton developer image file. Uh, both of them are running in the classic environment. And we need to download the Performer ROM. And that is not part of this tutorial. And there's my Einstein directory. And those are the files um, that we created earlier. So here I go into my home directory into downloads. And oh, what do we have here? Basilisk 2 already unpacked, unpacked, uh, Mac OS 7 disk already unpacked developer unpacked and the performer ROM. That's really nice of the operating system to unpack all those for me. Let's move them over here. Arrange the whole thing a little bit. Now let's try out. If we start Basilisk, uh, we get the usual complaint that it's not signed by a developer. So system preferences, security and privacy, Basilisk was blocked from use, so open anyway. Use password or my fingerprint. And open anyway, the second time. Now if we uh, double click Basilisk the way we downloaded it, it uh, immediately stops again. And the reason is it's not configured yet. It doesn't find the ROM or uh, the operating system disks. So in order to do that, we have to try at least to start it once. And once we did that, uh, we get a new finder window and go into our home directory. And now we do a very tricky thing. We press shift command and the period key and what appears suddenly is those period files those are hidden files that are usually not visible and one of them is basilisk2 dot or underscore prefs this is the preferences for basilisk and this was created by trying to start basilisk it gives us the default settings so click on that and if we double click on it it opens text editor, text edit for us. And here we need to do a few changes. Um, the changes are already down in the text here, but uh, let's do it while we're here. So the first thing we need to tell is where's the ROM? And um, the ROM is in users, uh, then whatever your name is, your shortcuts here. Uh, MWM for me, uh, Einstein, and then it's called performa.rom. Okay, I want a small r even though it tries to be nice with us. Uh, we need the disks. There is uh, the disk with the same path. So I copy this path, and then the name of the operating system is Mac. OS 755.dsk. Oh, DSK. The next disk that we need is the developer disk, and that's called newt underscore devil 1.1.dsk. Cool. We need an external file system 
which we put on users mwm einstein um, um, we call it just disk and also uh, make a new folder here called disk uh, we need a screen well we don't want the screen emulated inside a window and let's make it 800 by 600 on this machine um, we need the serial port connection A and that is a TCP connection so a network connection uh, 3679 is the ports this would be a server and uh, we can connect to this with the client so ram size uh, is uh, 67108864 no idea where that number came from but it works after you entered the ram size here uh, make sure that it doesn't say somewhere else a smaller size or the last number in the list will be taken so we delete this line make sure that uh, rom disk and all those keywords are exactly as in my list down there and that they're not capitalized or changed by the editor and that the paths are okay and that the ram size entry is only there once or any other entry for that matter um, that should be enough. We save this with Apple S and then we start Basilisk. And behold, there is our um, classic Mac operating system. Let me guide you around a little bit if this is your first time on Mac Classic. So you see that the basic idea is the same. There's the Apple menu, there's the menu for the applications. Here's a special menu when you're on the desktop for shutdown, which is the only correct way to quit out of this emulator. Um, there are a few tools pre-installed we will need a few ma more but at least these are here and uh, we have here the Mac OS 7.55 which is already here the window which gives us the operating system itself and we have a Unix drive if I click on that it's all empty that refers to the disk here it's the same uh, directory on both sides so we can put uh, packages that we want to install into the disk and then uh, install them here from the UNIX uh, drive and just pull them onto another drive and then we have the new Devel, Newton developer drive and this is a collection of tools and the one big tool that we're interested in is the Newton toolkit here and the Newton toolkit is the integrated developer environment that makes all this possible double click on it and it uh, wants you to open a project we don't do that yet cancel and then we call on the windows the inspector the inspector window is uh, like your direct connection to the message pad if you had a real message pad now connected over a serial port serial cable um, you could connect right away to it and uh, let us just try that out and do it so we start Einstein and then uh, we will find something neat. Um, open the extras, open the dock. And so our prepare to click connect via serial. And let's just do it. And on here, install toolkit app. If everything's set up right, serial A is set up right on Basilisk and here you had set the serial connection to uh, network uh, you've seen that the file was just transferred and if I go into the extras folder there's my toolkit and if I open this I get this and that looks very similar to that so let's click here on connect and click here on connect to inspector and you see now that the toolkit here is open and the extras toolkit also has an uh, extras box also has a toolkit it's open so we have a connection now between the both machines and we can prove that that by just entering some complicated math and then instead of 
return we press command return the magic keystroke and number 10 means that's the 10th task that it executed and number four is the result of the operation mm, trust me that this works because it works even with multiplication okay we have a connection between two machines that means we can right away develop and um, before we start that the inspector is extremely powerful and fun so just to show you one thing you can just type get root which is a Newton script command command return and it will list you the entire or part of the root structure which is a list of all installed applications and all views that are currently or visible or could be visible like the extra straw and so on and so you can actually examine what's going on in the newton ram and work with that this of course is used uh, for debugging when you write an application so let's just to prove that everything works quickly write an application we go into the ntk folder um, uh, file new folder test okay all apps are called test project a new project in the test folder call it test creative uh, then we need a new layout the layout is basically what all programs are based on so we just uh, make a little float and go which is uh, similar to what a window would be today we make some text in there click on the static text and change it into hello world save the thing uh, creative name again test.lyt for layout dot layout and then say project add test layout here that the layout is there okay so communication was dropped anyway so we got the toolkit running again okay project build package uh, download package let's check here extras test hello world well, that's how you develop an app for Newton OS